in the center is the design area. There always is at least one component which represents the real board. If we click on this tools button here, or just double click on the board, we'll see dialog listing all currently supported boards. Since we will program Arduino Nano, we'll select Nano as board. When you select a different board, Visuino will automatically populate the different pins corresponding to the selected board. On the left, we have Object Inspector where we can edit the different properties of the board or other selected component. On the right is our toolbar. Here are our components organized in categories and subcategories. We can select components from here and drop them in the design area. In the left top corner is our navigation panel, which allows us to quickly and easily navigate over big designs. At the bottom is the serial terminal and the scope. And if we use packet communication, also we'll have a tab with visual instrumentation for the different channels. The Arduino Nano has built-in LED connected to pin 13. This is also shown on the Arduino component in Visuino. One of the simplest projects that we can create is to make this LED to pulse on and off once a second. To make it pulse this way, we can add a pulse generator. We can use the filter box to filter through the components. Select a pulse generator and drop it at front of pin 13. Connect it. And by clicking on this button, we can generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino IDE. Here, we can select a board, in our case Arduino Nano, a COM port where the board is connected, and then we can click on this button to compile and upload the code to the Arduino board. The code is uploading, and you can see that the LED is now flashing once a second. We can use the object inspector to specify a different frequency, as example, five times a second. Again, we can click on this button to generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino IDE. and click on this button to compile and upload the code. And now it is uploading to the NAM. And you can see that the LED is now flashing 5 times a second. For this project, we'll connect a button sensor module to digital pin 2 of Arduino Nano. To connect the button, we'll use red wire to connect to VCC power, black wire to connect to ground, and blue wire to connect to the remaining signal pin. On the Arduino side, we'll connect the black wire to one of the ground pins right here, the red wire to 5 volts and the blue wire to digital pin 2 of the Arduino Nano.
since our button is connected to digital pin 2, we can simply connect this digital pin 2 to pin 13. We can leave the pulse generator. It will have no effect. Generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino IDE. Compile and upload the code. If I press the button, the LED will turn on and if I release it, it will turn off. This means that we can read the position of the button and send that value to the LED. If we want, we can invert the value from the button by using Boolean Inverter. Connect the button or digital pin to to the inverter and the output of the inverter to digital pin 13. To increase the design area, we can also close the serial terminal. Generate the code, compile and upload. Now, by default, the LED is on and if I click the button, it will turn off, inverting the signal from the button. We can also use the button to enable or disable the pulse generator for the LED. For this, we can add pin to the enabled property of the pulse generator by clicking on this pin button at front of the property. Selecting Boolean Sync pin, connecting the digital pin 2 to the enabled of the pulse generator, connecting the output of the pulse generator to digital pin 13, and removing the inverter. Generate the code, compile and upload. The LED initially is off. If we press the button, the LED will start blinking five times a second as we last programmed it with the pulse generator. And if I release the button, the LED will stop pulsing in whatever state it was at that moment. For the next project, I will use the photoresistor module from my IoT kit from Maker Fabs. This module contains analog photoresistor and a digital comparer. The module is capable of outputting both analog and digital signal and it can be connected to an analog or digital pin on the Arduino. It also has two pins to provide power and ground. We'll start by connecting it as a digital sensor the same way as our button was connected to digital pin 2. This potentiometer here can be used to control the trigger level for the comparer, this small chip, on the module. Here is how I have connected the module to the Arduino now. I disconnected the button from the previous project, connected the red wire or power to the first pin, which is the VCC pin, the black wire ground to the ground pin, and the blue wire to the digital pin of the module. The Arduino is still connected as in the previous project with the blue pin going to digital pin 2 and the red to 5 volts and black to ground. 
we will use the same project as we did for the button whenever the photoresistor is exposed to light the signal is low or zero and the LED on pin 13 will not flash if I cover the photoresistor or point it to darkness the LED will start blinking indicating that we don't have enough light whenever the photoresistor is exposed to light the LED will stop blinking in whatever state it was in that moment If we want, we can also monitor the digital pin tool on the serial port. We'll start with new project. Select the board type. Connect the output pin of digital channel 2 to the in pin of serial port 0. Generate the code and open the Arduino IDE. Compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded and now we can test the project. We can connect to the Arduino Nano with the serial terminal in Visuino. First, we need to select COM port, speed, leave the rest of the settings unchanged and click connect. We'll connect to the Nano And we'll start seeing the changes between true and false of the photoresistor when the lighting changes. And we can clear the serial terminal after we are done. The photoresistor module has both digital and analog pins. We can change the connection to the analog pin. By moving the wire and on the nano side we can disconnect from digital pin 2 and connect to analog pin 0. Now we can read analog level from the photoresistor. Again we'll start with new project. Select the board. Connect the out pin from analog channel 0 to the serial port. And generate the Arduino code. Compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded and again we can connect with the serial terminal. You will immediately see the values from the photoresistor. If we cover it and make it darker, the values will increase and the more light we get, the lower the values will become. We can also monitor this from the scope. You can see that we can read the analog values and monitor them on the scope and in the terminal.